Marshmallow Gaming. What's up everybody, Marshmallow from Marshmallow Gaming wanted to be coming back at you with another Awkward Amateur Hockey League Round Robin gameplay video. And today we have the Denmark Ninth Wonder on the right playing host to the um, Burnaby NHLers. So let's take a look at the lineup. My prediction is a big win for the NHLers. First we'll start with um, the home team, the Denmark Ninth Wonder. The first line, pretty strong, Nikolai Ehlers, Leon Dreisaitl, and Michael, Bo Michael Bodker. But the second line, still NHLers, Yannick Hansen, Marcel Gauck, and Lars Eller. The third line, a little bit worse, Oliver Bjorkstad, Alexander Barta, and Tom Kunakel. And then the fourth line isn't that good at all, but it's 67. And then on defense, they have Christian Enroth, Nikolai Gauck. And then 50s. And their goalies aren't any better. Well, they have Frederick Anderson and Philippe Gr Grubauer. So Denmark, I believe, clinches is clinching the fourth playoff spot or the third. I have it on a Google document that I will put on my. I will update this on my blog, which you can find a link to at the end of the video if you watch till then. There's the thing with the picture of the Stanley Cup, of the, um, or not the Stanley Cup, the, the, um, by, uh, 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 the, uh, <coughs> Pittsburgh Penguins 50 years patch thing. Um, then, yeah, or there will be a link in the description. Um, at the time of the releasing of this video. Game settings. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I play all these on rookie difficulty. Uh, what did I want to do? Put this to true broadcast. Let's watch this game. More simple thing because it's going to be a pain replaying all the goals. But I put it on true broadcast. Huh? What's up with that? Delays. Oh, that's shootout camera. I love the penalty shot camera, so I'm gonna take a penalty shot if there is any in the game, just because of how good, really nice he is. Oh, okay. Let's do some commentary. Stamkos in the corner. Um, it tried to pass it in front of the net. Crosby gets it in the corner. Oh, the pass is cut by Nikolai Ehlers. Ehlers coming down the ice. Pa cross ice pass. Um, Bodker shot. Stopped by Price. Drew Doughty now. Up to Crosby. Crosby um, bursting down to Stamkos. Stamkos with speed. Passes across to Crosby. Shoot! He scores! And it's one nothing for the Burnaby NHLers! Still says aces there. I need to change that. Though they are aces, so I might leave it. Because they used to be the Burnaby Aces. Don't need to see a replay of that. That was good. Yeah. Um, Crosby, please do that for the Penguins. And also, I'm doing a Christmas Q&A. You can enter by posting a comment on this video or on my blog. And I'm sorry about background noise. If there's any, if someone comes down, we'll just ignore them. Shot. Stop. Yeah, 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 Jonathan Taves. Please don't win another Stanley Cup. Okay. Taves wins the draw. It's back. Oh, they're called the Nailers. Oh, like the Willie Nailers. In front of the net. Someone shot. Um, Marcel Gauck to Hansen. To Lars Eller. Lars Eller coming down. Drew Doughty intercepts the pass. Doughty, cross ice to Taves. Taves, in. Flurry, shot, stopped by Anderson. Anderson passes to Enroth. Enroth to Hansen. Hansen with speed. He's past the blue line. Pass is intercepted by Drew Doughty. Drew Doughty with it. Passes up to Getzlaff. Getzlaff. Tries to pass it back, but it goes off of Marcel Gauck, and he gets the puck. Marcel Gauck. Charles says pass, intercepted by Doughty. How many interceptions does he have today? Up to Taylor Hall. 
to Ryan Gets Lab. Try to stop. Um, and I have some special news for you that are watching that, this video. Um, I'm going to, I'm sort of working on this thing. I'm, I kind of abandoned it, but I'm going to make the lines. Basically, I picked, um, my favorite player from every NHL team and made, like, a, um, team thing, made a team out of it. Um, and it's, like, sort of elite, it's, like, a tur for a tournament, um, where there's a team representing every professional league. So there's, like, a KHL league, a Norwegian league, um, an extra Gavanio league, Yao hockey league, and other things. Kunako. Of course, that pass missed, because he wanted to go to the bench. Jamie Ben, Crosby, Ben. Da 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 Stamco scores, yay. And the place goes code Wyatt No replay permitted. Yeah, but so like this is a KHL team and AHL team. The NHL team from it's got like um Cindy Crosby, Rick Nash, Pecorine, Shea Weber, Eric Carlson. Oh, who was the first goal you had? Oh, Corey Perry, um, uh, Taylor Hall, who was the goalie? Oh my god. What a save by Frederick Anderson! It all come to me, oh my god. can't think of it. It wasn't Price, it was some okay goal. Took a rack, that's who it was. Never mind. It was a good goal. You should need to do really bad this year so Pittsburgh can win the Stan Cup. Who doubted? To Stan Cook. Stan Cook. Shot. He scores! 31 seconds into the period, and Stan Cook has made it 3 to nothing. AC. Or NHL -ers. I think I will go back to doing the Dia Pro series and try and get called up in time for the playoffs. Oh, nice joke. Actually, I might start a new one as a goalie or defenseman. I don't like being a forward in the game. It's a bit annoying. And he scores! And the place goes crazy! <laughs> what a slapper! I need to see a replay of this. I didn't even see it. And Raw beats him cleanly. And it's 3 to 1, Aces. Let's go Denmark. Let's go Denmark. They have the best logo in the whole tournament. Wait, no, the Fighting Ducks probably do. He shot. Stupid Santa. Gawk to Weber to Ben to Crosby. Crosby to Stamco. Stamco shot, missed the net. Back at the point, Weber's shot, deflected, Anderson the save, and he freezes it, setting up a great A chance. If they win this draw, I'm going to call it a goal, because it's obviously, if he had passed it over, that could have been a goal. But yet, as far as goalie, Lars Eller coming down, Lars Eller, Hansen, Mar Marcel Gawk. In front of the net, stopped by Price, and he'll freeze it, or froze it, freeze it. Oh, we have the Habs goalie versus the Leafs goalie, and the Habs one is doing better. Oh, Weber, or er, Nikolai Gok, Lars Eller, Sagan, Tyler Sagan, to whoever that was, Burr's running, no, Perry, Perry shot, scores! And the place goes co Wyatt. Tavares, 
in the next intermission, I'm going to go check what the next game for um, Burnaby NHL is with, because I came up with a relatively easy way um, to do this, so I'll quickly go check, and I will um, update the... I think so, middle of the game, yay. See, I think we're going to start a new Via Pro series. Miss the net. This is obviously a, a, the Aces game. Denmark to Kunako. Why did I just call him Denmark? Denmark has the puck. Brett Burns behind his net. Pass intercepted by Cleve. I think that's how you pronounce it. Bukestad. Back to Cleve. To Kunako. Gets laugh. Guy. Stop. Stop. In front of the net, pass. Jeff Carter tries to pass across, but can't. Cleave up to Nikolai Ehlers. Nikolai, Nikolai Ehlers down three. Duncan Keith intercepts the pass. Oh, Claude Giroux. He's all alone. Hit shot. He scores. Claude Giroux. And it's five to one. He scores! Jamie Ben! Jamie Ben! I'm Steven Samcook and Duncan Keith. Anderson thought it went in like twice before it went in. Look! Oh, I thought it, before he had looked back that he was in the net. And that's how we got it. Jamie Ben now. 6-1. Yeah, they're definitely making the playoff. It will probably just have to say great job. Okay, great A scoring chance. If they can get this puck back to the D. Nope. Hacken or Haken has it. There's a gotch on both teams? Oh no. Tate. Um, Perry. In the corner, stop by Anderson. Blair. I have a cousin named Blair. Dumps it in. All right, so I'm gonna go check who Burnaby and who the Burnaby NHLers are playing next, and I'll be back in a sec. All right, so I'm back. Let's jump into the third period. It's currently six-one to the eight for the Aces. They are gonna win. I'm surprised all the Denmark fans are still here. Just take a trip to Norway and watch one of the Norwegian games. They're probably more exciting. Though they're probably playing the EA Sports trademark arena. Airhoff to Dry Seidel. Dry Seidel. Ben. I'm just gonna take a nap and you can watch the game because it's getting pretty boring. But I will be doing three games in this episode. Um, there will be the next game will be the NHLers at home against the Bandits, and then they will go on the road to face the Battalion. I'm gonna take a nap and watch the rest of the game. Oh, cause it's gonna be a lot of goals. He scores, and the place goes crazy. And in the comments section, let me know if you want to see more Winter Wars. I recorded, I saved the replay of the second episode. I might not do Winter Wars, but I can do more Napoleon. And let me know if you want to see more vlogs. Because I have a good enough camera to do vlogs. Four goals in the next 17 minutes and 10 seconds. So I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm only going to talk if Denmark scores. I'm going to go, and the place goes crazy!
Alright, so there's like 15 seconds left. I need to figure out what I should do for my marker and I'm going to pen here. Oops. Sorry about that. Just sat on my controller. Alright, that's the game. You can watch them be all happy. Um, Alright guys, I'll see you in the next game when the Burnaby NHLers take on the Burnaby Bandits. Alright, so I'm going to bring you into the third period, but quickly I thought we'd take a look at the lines of these teams. Alright, so on the right we have the Burnaby NHLers. You can see I added in the logo in the front. And on the left we have the Burnaby Bandits. So let's take a look. The first line, um, they have Jamie Ben, Sidney Crosby, and Steven Stamkos. Um, these guys are all top forwards, and earlier today, um, I watched a video on YouTube called the, um, called the World Cup of Reject by Polish Thrasher, um, which, um, you can check out his channel, um, you should check out his channel, I'll leave a link in the description for those of you that are interested, um, but, so, um, it was basically all the players who didn't make their country's World Cup roster. And when people are saying that Canada could have two competitive teams, they were definitely right. Canada's team was all 90s. They had like, um, well, let's just look at the teams. They had Jamie Benn, Sidney Crosby, and Stamkos on the first line. Second line, Jonathan Taze, Tyler Sagan, and Corey Perry. Probably their, their fourth line is still really good. It's just not as good. I think they're lacking a little bit on um, this side. Or they're lacking around the wings. They have strong centers. And wait a minute, I think I'm. That makes more sense to me, but I don't know. And then on defense, they have Shea Weber, Drew Doughty, Brent, Bur Brent Burns, Duncan Keith, PK Subban, Subban. Or however he wants his name to be pronounced. Saban. PK Saban. And Mark 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 Edward Blassett. Or Blassie. And then in these are the scratch players. Patrice Bergeron, Mark Giordano, Alex Petrangelo, Robbie Lou, Connor McDavid, Matt Duchesne, and Corey Crawford. And then the goalies are Kerry are Kerry Over Price and Raiden Holtby. Now let's take a look at the Burnaby Bandits. They're not as good. They have Ovechkin, Stamkos, and Jamie Dunn on the first line. Genny Kuznetsov, John Tavares, and Nicholas Baxter on the second line. David Grew, Ryan O'Reilly, and David Jones on the third line. Steve Bernier, Oli Jokinen, and Adam Burris. I just want to see something real quickly. What other left wingers do they have? Instead of having like that 76 guy, why wouldn't you put in like a 91? Uh. Look at this, they have a right wing who's 91, one is 81, and another one who's 91. A left winger who's 91. Okay, I'm just going to. I don't want this in my tournaments. Oh, I can't do anything about it, right? Because they're stupid. <laughs> And on D, they have um, Shea Weber, Drew Doughty, Eric Carlson, Brent Burns, Dustin Bufflin, and P.K. Saban. And on goalies, they have Corey Schneider, Schneider and Kevin So, yeah, I'll bring you into the action in the third period. Alright, I brought you back into the game a bit early but because I want you to watch this. Why don't you count the seconds with me between these goals? So here is goal number one, like seconds of play. So let's just wait to the face off. I'm 
take a look at this. One, oops, go back to the face off and play it in normal speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six now. Go to the next face off and seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, wait, wait, is this where I want to be? That was the first goal of the game. So let's, let's just use the action tracker to figure it out. Okay, so look at this. Um, this goal, then two seconds later they scored again. So that's two seconds, then... Wait, no, it was... These three goals, yeah. So they score, then... What? I thought... My ca oh, right. In real life, it took 11 seconds. Um, alright. It, so they, er, they basically just beat the record. Of fastest score. Um, nine goals. Or not nine goals, um... Three goals, so yeah, I just wanted to mention that. I'll bring you back in in the third period. Alright guys, I just wanted to bring you back in because there's a fight. Brent Burns and Brent Burns. Which Brent Burns is gonna win? Um, the bandits, Brent Burns, the white one that just got taken down, ran the goalie. So yeah, I just wanted to inform you of that, and the score is currently 73 for the Burnaby NHLers. They had an explosive seven goal first period, but the Burns led bandits are are um, making a comeback. So yeah, see you in the third period. Actually, I'll see you in the third period or the next time there's something big like a fight. Mm, so see you then. All right, so we're about to enter the third period. Um, the statistics are seven goals to four for the NHLers. Eight shots, 18 shots to 15 for the NHLers, 8 hits to 6 for the Bandits, and there's been 11 penalty minutes against the Bandits and 5 penalty minutes against the NHLers. And the Bandits are 1 for 1 on the breakaway, the NHLers are 2 for 4, and the face -offs 1 of 13 to 11 in favor of the Bandits, let's give them this third period. The Bandits do have a good shot at a comeback, no, third period, so. I can't believe that fight with Brent Burns against those of the defensemen. So I think I'm going to stick with this camera angle now because you can see more of the action. We don't have the best camera. Taylor Hall has a hat trick now. Oh, I thought you were going to not see me stand close. I still 
have one more game just played after this one. And if game's going, I just want to announce it now, if game's going to overtime, overtime losses count as a regular loss. Because it's not based off of points, it's based off of wins and losses. It's based off of your record. So, it's getting pretty boring. Oh, he scored! So I'll bring you back into the action when there's another goal, if there is, or something. In you got a goal to report. Off the face off, Burns gets it, passes it up to Booth. Booth comes in, shoots goal. See you next goal. And another goal. This time it's for O'Reilly. He comes through, splits the D. I'm um, just going to score hand and shot. Simple. See you next big. And we have the third goal of the game for Ryan O'Reilly of the Burnaby Bandits. He just comes in, forehand shot, score. See you next big thing or end of game for game three of this episode. Now we have a fight between the two Jamie Bens. How come every fight in this game has been between the exact same player? I have my young assistant sister here. Do you think that's weird? Oh, who will win? Who will win? Who will win? And the place goes crazy! There's not much time left in the game, so I will skip this, like the jerseys of the blue team, or not the white, the one in the, um, so yeah, I'll see you next big thing. This is now the longest video on my channel, whoop! Alright, we have a goal for Team NHL, but watch this. Back when the puck's in this end, okay, so, this is what happens. So, Stamkos, with the puck, winds up, glances it off the post, it goes back, Carlson, or it goes past Carlson, Carlson gets it, he skates up, the pass is intercepted, they come down the ice, pass across, shot, off the goalie in the corner, I'm not sure who has it, Stamkos, cross, shot, stop, shot, stop, score. That's probably the winner. See you next big thing, or for the next game. The Bandits just pulled the goalie and scored, so do you see the replay? I'm not even sure if you got to the bench. Right when it said empty net, he scored. Let's take a look at this. Doughty just took a wild slap. I wonder if you can see the goalie. One. You can watch the rest of the game because there's like, I don't know, 31 seconds plus of time. I'll show all of overtime. If it goes there. I have faith in these teams. Oh, okay, scores right now. That's the game. If someone scores right now, that's the, if they score on this drive, that's the game. And then we'll just jump straight into the other one. Oh, I think he's going to score. The EA Sports Theory Otter jersey is what it looks like. It looks like, doesn't that look like the Otter's jersey? Looks like the, I guess it's the same color scheme. Oh, thankfully the shot hit a man. Well, thankfully for the standard. Make some noise for overtime. Make some noise for overtime. Oh, I thought they were wearing the old Canucks jerseys. Alright. Drew Doughty. Drew Doughty. Skating down. Passes to Stamkos, to Jody, Weber intercepts, Weber to Stamkos, to Weber, back to Stamkos, intercepted by the other Weber, Stamkos, Weber, shot stopped by Pecorine, who holds it for the whistle, the whistle, long story, oh my god, I love those jerseys, if I do another GM mode, I'm going to do relocation and give them that jersey. Or it's similar jersey. Maybe not with the NHL logo, but same color scheme. Oh, a minute 36 left in overtime. Tavares. The Weber. Weber shot missed the net. Doughty. 
shot, miss. Dowdy, Sagan, Tyler Sagan to Shea Weber. Shea Weber, Tyler Sagan, stop by Pecorine. And he holds it for the whistle. Or the whistle. John Tavares. Tavares, one on two, shot stopped by Price. I believe it's the goalie, I'm not sure. Now Drew Doughty. Drew Doughty, Tad Sagan, Brent Burns stops it. Eric Carlson. Carlson. Steven Stomko. Stamkos in front of the net. Drew Doughty. It's shot down. Icing. Critical, no, they left first in. This is a critical face off. And they won it. Dowdy shot stopped. Here comes now the biggest face off of the game. And they won. Damn coach probably just wants to dump it down. Nope. He comes in. Slapper score! He scores! Oh! They have the triple low five. I didn't believe it with Sue Van and Bryce on the team. They have the triple low five. I'll see you in the next game, which is the, um, um, which is the, so you can take a look at the three, three stars really quickly, which is the, one of the NHLers, um, facing off against the Brampton Battalion. See you then. Alright, this is just a quick announcement. I've decided I'm going to settle the rest of these games in a shootout. So here comes the first shootout. Let me just um, go into select size really quickly. I'm not sure if I can once it starts, because they're shooting first. Um, I'll just go out. So, and this way the episodes may be a bit quicker so we can get through the round robin quickly and get into the Awkward Amateur Hockey League Cup. So, win someone wins is going to stay Stanley Cup champions, but really they're the Awkward Amateur Ho Hockey League champions. Alright, so now let's... Choose no side. No reason to be required. Boys. What a goal for Sydney, the kidney, Crosby. Sid the kid. I'm only going to replay goals. Can you score one? You can. That was an incredible goal. Steven Stamkos, what will we do? I'm just going to skip that because it wasn't a very fancy goal. I'm not 
not going to show no replays just to save time. Even though people don't have lots of time, so they don't want to spend their entire day. And seeing I'm doing it at shootouts, I might play one more game. Um, though the ninth one, or er, the NHLers have now faced every team in the league. They faced, wait, have they faced, they haven't faced the Yellow Jackets, I don't think. They faced the Bandits, the Battalion, the Ninth Wonder, and I'm pretty sure the Yellow Jackets. When the shootout is over, I'll go double check. Because we might do a couple more round robin. And, and I know the other titles, because there were games I had the title of who was playing, but I think this one's just going to be... AHL round robin, uh, round robin marathon. So it's like half hour of this game. See, I might go for another 20 minutes to make this an hour. Maybe I'll do the rest of the round robin in this video. If I'm sitting at like 99 videos near Christmas time. I won't be uploading daily then because I'm gonna make I'm gonna try and make my 100th episode my Christmas Q and A. So I might not because we're approaching it very fast. And they remain undefeated. What? There's no triple or five? Huh? Oh, I guess the last shooter left. Alright, so that's all for this. I'm gonna quickly go check if they have played every team and then um I think they scored like Um, eight goals maybe. Actually, I'm gonna take out the goals for parts of my table. Um, goals for won't matter anymore. It'll just be a record. Um, and then if there's like a tie for one of the places, you'll play at a shootout. Um, so that's three and zero for them. So I'm quickly gonna go check, and if they have another game, then we'll play it. If not, we'll find another game to play. So, so they still have to play against the um, Burnaby or the Brampton Fighting Ducks. I should put Rick Nash on the team. I'm not sure if I did, just because he's from Brampton. Hmm. Um, so Brampton Fighting Ducks. Um. Oh, I didn't do the, um, the draw. I flip, I used a coin flipping website. Um, I'm not sure if I have something down here I could use. So I'm quickly going to go. Actually, um, they've played most of their games at home, so we're going to say they're on. I haven't seen the Brampton Fighting Ducks arena yet, so they'll have back-to-back -back road games. It really doesn't matter. Wait, did I make a TPU versus CPU? There we go. Hopefully this one can end a little bit quicker. Oh right, I put a lot of penguins because there's a duck. 
I put Pinocchio and got Tyler Sagan. That's going to be a goal right now. Nope, it just looks like he's, he was giving him the glove side. And he took it away. <laughs> Malkin, nope. Can this one? No, here. Can Crosby score? I think Crosby can score. Nope. I'll bring you in on the next one. Actually, scratch that. I won't. Here comes Ovi. Here's Ovi. Not o not Johnny. Here's Johnny. Good job. He scored. Crosby score from Fighting Duck. Is Burnaby going to finish the tournament undefeated for the first time in? Awkward Amateur Hockey League um, playoff history. Yep, they will. Thanks for watching. Check out my blog and post a question for my Q&A. Um, Marshmallow Gaming signing off, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!